I remember the third day that we were open, you were off and my wife called and said, I'm coming over and I brought the Suburban to help you deliver a mattress. And I had just gotten her engagement ring and I got down on one knee and said, will you marry me? And she said, what? Right in front? Yeah. And she goes, of course. And so I put the ring on her and I said, now grab the end, other end of that mattress. We have a, we have a delivery to do. <laughs> okay. And off we went. We encountered some people that needed delivery. I mean, we were originally, you have to come pick it up. You have to figure out a way to pick it up. And uh, neither one of us had, had a pickup. No. Nope. So Barry found something in the one ads. And... Uh, it was affordable. $400. $400. $400. Yeah. It was orange and white stripe. No, that was the rust. Yeah, yeah that was the um, rust. Yeah. yeah, so that lasted us like three or four days. And you were out on a delivery once with Bill, our yep. guy that worked for us, the one guy. Yep. And uh, got a phone call. Yep. And I don't know if it was the engine or the something overheated. We had the delivery loaded and we had to pull over. And I called Daryl, and he said, let me see what I can do. I said, what do you want me to do about it? uh, And so then uh, he finally got a friend of ours to bring his van over, and then we put the stuff in there and got the delivery done on time. So, Well, we had to have the truck towed. I think we lost all of our profit on that one with that. But uh, that vehicle, that was the end of it. Um, And then we went out and splurged on a brand new vehicle. One of the first things I was supposed to do when I got there is to get everything computerized because basically inventory was kept by Barry on a uh, tablet. Tablet. Write down the items we got in, check off the items we took out. So at that time there was maybe two or three computers in the building and it had a few spreadsheets, maybe a time clock on them. Daryl had a uh, computer on his desk and Barry had a computer on his desk. So I go into Barry's office and he's got this monitor that has some post-it notes on it. <laughs> and right, a lot of people put post-it notes on the edge, Barry would slap them right in the middle of the screen. So I, I come back the next day, he's got these post-it notes in the middle of the screen. So I'm wondering, how do you see what you're doing on the screen? So I look at the screen, it's dark. Push the power button, there's no power coming on. Reach down the cables, it's two loose cables, there's no computer underneath there. It's a monitor just to put post-it notes on. looks. <laughs> he put post-it notes on this monitor that's connected to nothing. So it looks like he thinks he has a computer on his desk. We started with no sales commission. We've continued that way because we truly believe that a non-commissioned salesperson will be more genuine and it'll be a much more relaxed atmosphere. We sell more mattresses than anybody else because we offer the best value for the lowest price and we only carry name brands. Chances are, if you've slept at a friend's or a neighbor's house in Fargo-Moorhead, you've slept on one of our beds. Furnished for less means you're gonna get the best value, whether it's a $799 sofa or a $399 sofa or a $4,000 Amish bedroom set. We check prices every day. We make a conscious effort before anything comes to the floor, before that sofa or that chair comes to the floor, that we check Wayfair, Amazon, Overstock. We also check the local competition on their websites. We make sure that we never get beat on prices. And to back that up, unlike other stores that may put a SKU number on a product, we actually put the brand and model number, and we invite people to Google it, and compare prices, apple to apple. So you've heard about our humble beginnings and some of our trials and errors and our beginning with a $400 truck and my business partner and I trying to separate ourselves from the competition. And over the last 19 years, we've furnished thousands of homes in the Fargo-Moorhead area. If you go to a couple stores first, and then you come to Furniture for Less, you'll be really impressed. Now it's time to come in and see why we're different.